In this video, we'll have a look at the user interface of CSD Studio Suite. To create a new project, it's recommended to use one of the built-in project templates. The project templates give you a good starting point, suggesting solver, boundary conditions, and mesh settings. But all settings can be changed later on. There are five major application areas to choose from. We have statics and low frequency. We have particle dynamics, EMC and EMI, EDA and electronics, microwave, RF and optical. Let's go for antenna. Here we specify the workflow. These are the recommended solvers for the workflow. Here we specify the units of the project. We need to specify the frequency range. We can also define field monitors. Field monitors are used to record the 3D fields. And we also need to define at which frequencies to define those, to record those fields. So this is what the user interface looks like when working with the project. To the left, we have the navigation tree, which contains everything in your project. Geometries, materials, excitations, and even results. At the top, we have the ribbon bar, which is intended to be used from left to right. Let's use a built-in macro to create a dipole antenna. So this is the 3D view of the project, and you can see the bounding box indicating the computational domain. Here we have the parameter list displaying all the parameters that are used in the project. We can simply change one of the parameters and click update and the model is updated. In the modeling tab we can define geometries and materials. We can also load materials from the library. When selecting a geometry, its information is displayed. To change the material properties, simply drag and drop. In the simulation tab, we have the tools to specify excitations and field monitors. So let's define a new field monitor at 500 megahertz. And now we can run the simulation. In this window, you see the progress and the messages from the solver. So let's go ahead and check the results. These are the S parameters. We can also have a look at the far fields in 3D. Some information is displayed. Now we look at the directivity, but we can also have a look at the gain. And by clicking this button, we can see the cut and some new information is displayed. We can also define certain cuts so that we can compare the performance of a frequency.